I would recommendations are important. But the one which is so important is recommendation two on incorporate rehabilitation and assistive technologies in universal health coverage with attention to gender related barriers. Government have made a bold commitment, as we all know, to achieve universal health coverage by 2030. And also the article 26 of the CRPD also acknowledges that rehabilitation is a human right and that state parties should take measures to protect and promote that all persons with disabilities can access quality rehabilitation. Without assistive technologies in this aspect, we will not achieve any of this. Why the recommendation is important? People with disabilities face many obstacles in their fight for equality. And although men and women with disabilities are subject to discrimination, because of their disabilities, women and girls with disabilities are at a further disadvantage because of their combined discrimination based on gender and dis disability. So, social cultural dimensions, poverty, high transportation costs, lack of education, and some factors there are those that impact on their access to rehabilitation and assistive technologies in healthcare. Universal health coverage cannot be universal without noting the barriers to access and working to address them and without adequate appropriate assistive devices and the mechanism to ensure uptake by women and girls with disabilities, their access to healthcare will be very limited. For example, a heart of hearing girl who requires a hearing aid in order to communicate adequately with a health personnel could be misunderstood and experience abuse through poor analysis and wrong medication. Women and girls with disabilities are empowered when they are able to access rehabilitation and assistive technology in healthcare and be on the same basis with others. In implementing this recommendation, financing rehabilitation and assistive technologies by government may also pose a challenge. This is because most states do not prioritize rehabilitation of women and girls in healthcare, and similarly, other stakeholders in healthcare may neglect the sector. So, another example is that in some rehabilitation centers for persons with disabilities in Ghana, the percentage component of, of participation of women and girls with disabilities is less than that of men. Hence, obviously, the percentage investment and their requirements will be low. There is also lack of awareness by some women with women with disabilities, including girls, to uptake rehabilitation and ensuring that they have access to assistive, assistive technology. Turning this recommendation into a reality by stakeholders. There is an urgent need for considered global action to stakeholders to recognize the intersection discrimination of women and girls with disabilities, the one they face, and fully incorporate the gender dimensions in scaling up quality rehabilitation for women and girls with disabilities. Two, they need to expand financing for rehabilitation and assistive technology for all genders. Ensuring that quality health insurance schemes are established and women and girls with disabilities are benefiting. Three, build capacity, raise awareness 
and ensure the participation of persons with disabilities, particularly women and girls with disabilities, to uptake services in rehabilitation and assistive technologies in health. Thank you.